I'm gonna whip up one called Good for the Gander, of course. Uh, why? Because we'll be using gooseberries. Gotcha. Cool? I should think. We just, should we just jump into Knock it? Knock it out. I mean, I feel like you, you and I have done this enough. We're gonna throw one I of know. those in there. We're like an old married couple. We really are an Back old, together, old married couple. Whipping up some drinks. Wait till it stops and we start fighting again. We're gonna I take know. our muddler. Yes. You, you know how this goes. Uh, we're just gonna squeeze. Squish right it. in there, squeeze and squish. Let out the tension. Mm. Smell? Not bad, not bad. Love it so like jam. much. It's jammy. It's I think jammy. It's fruit. Uh, so we're gonna take a short half of an ounce of oh, this is simple syrup. Pretty easy. It's what's a short half of an ounce? So it's a half ounce, but if you'll notice, and I don't know if we'll get this on camera, it's, oh, it's eventually, just short but it's just off. short of half oh. of an ounce. So just a short, uh, just a short half. You should just say less than half an ounce. A short half is is, is quicker the to say. Term? Yeah, otherwise okay, I'm yelling yeah, at my all bartenders right. all night okay. with this kind of thing. Okay. We're gonna take uh, three quarters of an ounce of fresh squeezed lime juice. Short or long? I'm gonna hit it right on. Oh, right, oh, right. Go it's the one and a half it. count. Go one, one thousand, two. And, uh, that's short two, right there. So that's three quarters of one ounce right there. Yes. We have this delicious puree made from cantaloupe and banana. That it sounds is delicious. mostly cantaloupe. It's got a little banana in it. Banana mostly just. That's my just favorite melon. The banana? That's a fruit. No, the cantaloupe. Oh, good. I was gonna say because you are off on your fruits then. No, I like it. Oh okay, yeah, the banana and the banana isn't really even in there. It's just there for some thickness. Yes. We're gonna take one texture. full ounce of that. Mm -hmm. We're gonna drop it. Whoop. Right in there. And then I didn't make this next one. I didn't make this next thing. Uh, a friend of mine nicked it, but this is. Oh. This is rum infused with thyme. You might say thyme, because I know you say herbs, so you might put I do say, well, it's an H, isn't it? It is. Not? So do you say thyme? No. Well, there's you an H. thyme. There's an H. I'm just saying, I don't know. Uh, we're gonna put two full ounces of this stuff right in there. Put the thyme in there. Put the thyme in there. <laughs> what thyme is it? Oh, we're all thymed out. Okay. Uh, and then I'm going to take uh, one of these guys. I'm gonna scoop. Some ice. This is cool. This is um. Isn't it nice? It smells pretty, pretty thymy. It's very thymy. Mm. It's thymish. Mm -hmm. uh, we're gonna drop this right in here. We're going to give it a good seal. Okay. Right Shake it up. Okay. When I was learning this drink, yes. I was told not to double strain it. We're just gonna do a single strain over some new ice. So you want some of the uh, gooseberry bits to be that, in I there? think that's the that's the whole case. Plus, like, you don't want to strain out that banana. Ah. Remember we had that whole banana conversation a minute ago? We did. We, we did. want that banana right in there, and we're just gonna get this right up to the top of it. And it does it look pretty delicious, though. It's theirs. You're gonna garnish we're it with really, you're gonna you garnish know, it with a gooseberry? You are getting so good at this. We're gonna take one of these. This is a gooseberry uh -huh. wrapped in a leaf. Well, that's its own leaf, isn't it? It is a leaf of some sort. That, it is a that's leafy a gooseberry sort. leaf. Yeah. Is that a gooseberry leaf? That's a that's a leaf. I thought I it thought grows they... actually like that from the plant. Get out of town. Yeah. I, I know how Who to knew? pour it. I know how to. Well, you did. Who knew I know that how to pour it. Had leaves. So before you drink this, I just want you to know when you should drink this. I knew this. you wouldn't stop talking. Spectacular during Thanksgiving, right up to Christmas, January one. Don't drink it anymore. But right in that perfect time period, perfect. October through. December. Late October. But mostly November to Christmas. This is a perfect cocktail for that kind of thing. Well, let me be the judge you of it. You be the judge of it. Let's see how this goes. Look Cheers. Look. Chin chin. That is a good Thanksgiving drink. Right? That would be really good with some turkey. A yam. Maybe two uh, yams. Not hot on yams. What? Nah. I like marshmallows. That's Sweet why potatoes I like yams. and stuff. See, yeah. why well, didn't grow up with it? Oh, right. See, I'm not yeah. like a marshmallow Thanksgiving. Ancient herbs and no marshmallows. I just I just like my, my herbs and my thyme. Go American. You know what I mean? This is actually really delicious, though. Isn't this, it good? This, it's very, very yeah. good. Very it's refreshing. Super tasty. And fruity. Yeah. I like it. And three of those, and you don't care what your drunk uncle says. You know? Exactly. Right? You become then, the drunk uncle. That's exactly it. <laughs>